Hope you're ready for a great day of training focused on the power snatch. We're going to do some plyometrics to get the hips fired up. Then we're going to do a power snatch complex. And then finally, we're going to ramp up the intensity with some barbell cycling of hang squat snatches and bar facing burpees. Let's start prepping for our snatch complex. For the warm up, we're going to start with two rounds of one minute of cardio. You can go running, burpees, jump ropes, bikes, um, jumping jacks, whatever you have. One minute of cardio. Then 10 alternating arm swings. So on round one, let's go up, down. So one hand goes up. Yeah, there you go. You figured it out. Alternating arm swings. Then grab a band. We'll go for 10 pass-throughs with the band. Keep the tension low. You can hold on to the uh, very ends of the band, or if you want a little bit more of a shoulder stretch, uh, squeeze your hands together a little bit on that band, okay? Then 10 alternating lunges. Gently touch the back knee to the floor. Keep the tension in the quad and the glute as you're going down. Okay, round two, same one minute of cardio. On round two, let's go uh, arm swings across the body now. Yep, alternate which hand comes on top. Then another set, yeah, you're good. Then another set of banded pass-throughs. And then finally, 10 jumping lunges. Again, control the descent. We're trying to do a jumping lunge without slamming the knee into the ground, okay? So that's part one, that's our general prep warm-up. Then, Following along with this training cycle, we'll do a little bit of plyometric work. Okay, for our plyometric work, we're going kneeling jump into vertical jump. So easier is gonna be having your toes tucked under. Use your hands, go down, chest down, and arms up. Okay, so that was one rep. You're gonna do that complex three times. For a little bit of a more challenging variation, have your toes pointed back. You can sit your hips down to your heels. Okay. So you're gonna do three kneeling to vertical jumps per set, five sets total. Next for our barbell complex, we're working off of our one rep max power snatch. Go for about 70% to start and then build from there. We're gonna go pause snatch, high pull. So get into your setup position, hips down, knees out towards the arms, head and chest up. Get all that tension, pull the tension out of the bar. Then on the way up, you're gonna pause at the knee. In this position, we're looking for the knees to be behind the bar and the lats still engaged, pulling the bar back towards the knees. From there, go into a high pull, then into a hang power snatch, into a overhead squat. Okay, that's gonna be our complex. Have fun, guys. Okay, guys, we have a fast-paced workout. This one's gonna be a burner. We have four time, 50 hang squat snatches, but every minute, including the start of the workout, six bar facing burpees. So three, two, one, go. Carly knocks out six bar facing burpees. Try to quickly drop to the ground, pop the hips up. As you're jumping over the bar, turn so you're already in position to drop for your next one. After the six bar facing burpees, lift that barbell into the hang position. And then you don't have to lower the bar. We're going from the hang, 50 hang squat snatches. Squat. Okay, so fastest position is gonna be to cycle that bar from the hips. Carly brings the bar down right into the hip crease as she re-dips to absorb that downward force, change of direction, and then drop under that bar, okay? You probably should have time to do probably two, maybe even three fast sets but let's try to minimize dropping that bar because it's burning. Try to hang on, okay? Eight minute time cap. Uh, for scaling, feel free. <coughs> Apologies, edit that out. Um, for scaling, reduce the number of burpees you're doing. Uh, intermediate, four is gonna be a good number. Beginners go down to three reps so you have more time for those burpees. Scale the weight appropriately. For the limited equipment variation, we're gonna go every minute, six lateral burpees over a single dumbbell. So notice when Carly drops to the floor, her hands are in front of the dumbbell so that when she lays down, her hips are in line with the dumbbell. That'll make it easier to jump over. Hit your six lateral burpees right into alternating dumbbell snatches. You can go for the same number prescribed, 50 total. If that dumbbell is really light for you, feel free to increase 75 or 100 reps if you're looking for a longer workout today. 
Thanks for watching, you guys.